Welcome! Today I'll be showing you how to play PlayStation 1 games on the PC using EPSXE. EPSXE is a PlayStation emulator for Windows and Linux operating systems. All instructions and links will be in the description for your convenience. The first thing you'll want to do is have the ISO file of the game you want to play. I can't tell you where to get the ISO files, but Google is your friend. Remember, you need an ISO file, so if you get a 7-zip or a RAR file like this, you can use 7-zip or a similar application to extract it. Also, real quick, if you're left with an ECM file or BIN file and you don't know what to do, click on the annotation on the screen for instructions with that. Onto the instructions, we need to get the emulator now, so head on over to epsxe.com like so. Go over to the download section and click on it. Click the top one that says EPSXE version 1.9.0 Windows. It downloads immediately. Now press the start button, go to the computer, and downloads. If you have 7-zip installed, you can right click the file, go down to 7-zip, and click extract here. You can put all those files into your own custom folder to make it more organized if you want as well. But for the sake of the video, I'll just continue on like this. Now, you need a BIOS file. Again, I can't tell you how to get it, but Google is still your friend. Let's say you already have the BIOS file, though. If you have a 7-zip file, you can extract it if you have 7-zip or WinRAR. What you need to end up with is a bin file like this. Once you have the bin file, just put it in the BIOS file of the EPSXE directory, like so. There is only one more thing to get, which are the plugins. Click on the link in the description for the GPU plugins, and it should automatically start downloading. Now, open the archive and drag the DLL file to the plugins folder. Now we're completely set up. Double click the EPSXE application. To ensure everything will work as planned, go to the config and click on wizard guide. Here, just click config and go to next and continue clicking until the controllers. It's better if you have a gamepad here, but you can also play with a keyboard. Just click controller 1 and click on each box co coordinating to the button. Just press that button on the controller and if it detects it, it should change the value. Once you're done, just click OK and Next again. EPSXE should now be configured. Click Done. Now go to the file, click Run ISO, and choose the ISO file of your game. Now your game should be running. If you want to increase graphical quality, which most computers can do these days, just stick around for a quick configuration tutorial. To increase graphical quality, go to Config and click Video. As long as you use the plugin I specified in the video, the configuration should be the same. Click on Configure, and the most important option you want to change is the desktop resolution next to full screen mode. Scroll down until you find your resolution. It's helpful if you know what resolution you have, but just choose the lowest one that works for you. If you know you have an adequate GPU, then choose the options at the bottom of each list for the best graphical increase. It's much easier to make these configuration changes if you know your specs, but if you don't know if your computer can handle the highest settings, it can still probably at least handle the nice option on the lower left. The miscellaneous checkboxes at the bottom are mainly for graphical issues that occur when you play the game. 